Hi everyone, this is Mr. Herbst, and this is Gene Cloning in Plain English. The story begins right here with this thing that looks like a circle, but actually this is a segment of DNA that's shaped like a circle called a plasmid. These are very important in bacteria because they're found alongside the regular bacterial DNA, but these plasmids allow the bacteria to do big things such as resist deadly foreign substances. Now in order to clone a gene, a scientist will take one of these plasmids and add in an enzyme that acts like scissors and literally cut open one of these plasmids so we have a little segment that looks like this. The next thing we do is take our human DNA and isolate a gene, like this one here in red. Let's say, for example, that gene right there represents the ability to produce insulin. Now we add in another enzyme that acts like tape and we'll tape together that insulin gene with our plasmid and we'll get this. Now we'll take this artificial plasmid and we'll jam it into bacteria. And now this bacteria has the genes to produce human insulin. So guess what? We just made an organism produce our own insulin. Now if you recall, one bacteria is a pretty small organism, so chances are pretty good it's not going to be able to do too much. But if we let them multiply, every time they multiply it's going to reproduce that gene for human insulin. Eventually we keep on letting them multiply. Now we're producing big amounts of human insulin, and eventually we can actually produce buckets and buckets of human insulin. So if you actually do have diabetes, you can thank bacteria for your medicine. So to sum up here, folks, our first step is to isolate our target gene. And in our case, it was this gene here in red, which actually coded for making human insulin. And step number two was to insert that gene into a plasmid. And in our case, we had to use an enzyme that opened up our plasmid, and then we had to use another enzyme that act like glue, and glued together our target gene and our plasmid, all into one little circle. And step number three was actually pretty simple. All we had to do was jam our plasmid that we just created into a bacteria. And finally, step number four is even simpler. All we got to do is let Mother Nature take its course and that bacteria to reproduce. Every time it reproduces, it's going to reproduce our target gene. And in this case, that target gene was for human insulin. Anyway, this was a HerbScience.com production. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about how gene cloning works. I'm signing off, folks. You all have a nice day.